We are back in the captain's quadrant. We are talking about discovery. We've got some theories because we're going to be talking about what's happening this week in the dance of disco. That's right. What's going to happen. We just watched the trailer again. We are going to be talking about it because this Friday, this Thursday is the release this Friday. We'll be talking about it live in the captain's quadrant. So be sure to come back because we'll get our Aussie mate. It will tell us all about why he loves the show in this it's episode. It's gonna just look slobber all over him. <laughs> He's gonna be like, so I yeah. love that Stacey Abrams showed up. I love that Sneak <laughs> on <laughs> <laughs> I love it more. I love it more than koala yeah. hugs. I'll koala it. hugs. I love it. All right. So let's get right into it, make it quick and painless. No, it's it's always amazing here at the cast. It's always <laughs> long and painful here, you know that. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Um, well, let's get right into what we think is going to happen. You have a theory. I have a theory. We're going to discuss theories every Monday. This is our theory vision, and we'll see what happens every Friday. So join we might us. as well just call this Watch Us Be Wrong. Because <laughs> we, yeah, we were, were wrong right. every week on Picard. I wasn't. Was like, butt bugs. Was. Butt bugs. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be the butt bugs. I still think it's going to be the butt. The butt bugs are going to be flying the D. Oh, wow. It never happened. <laughs> no, no butt bugs that we so, know of. That we know of. That we know I think of. Shelby was a butt bug. She, that's what it was this whole time. Shelby was a butt bug. Yeah. All right. So let's hear it. What is your theory? Okay. So uh, we know that this entire season is apparently hinged on a TNG, as they call it, Easter egg. Mm -hmm. We saw the Romulan scout ship, which looks beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Um, really cool. So I was thinking, what is the what is a treasure that people would go on a galaxy wide hunt for? What could be that valuable? And I keep going back to the same answer over and over and over again in a dilithium depleted federation. Oh. What could be more valuable than an Iconian gateway? Oh, if you remember from that one episode that I don't remember the name of, but it's the one with the three datas where he excitedly says, it's me before he learned how to use contractions. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I think that that's it. Was it we'll always have Paris? Yeah, I think that's it. I'll buy we'll that. always have we'll always have Tom Paris. That was it. We'll <laughs> always have Paris, damn it. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I think that's it. The Iconian Gateway, because we we did have a quasi sequel to that in Deep Space Nine, where the Dominion finds a gateway. Oh, and wow. it was such a drastic thing. Well, I don't want to say not the Dominion, the Jim Hadar find mm -hmm. the gateway and they rebel against the Dominion. And it's one of the only times you ever see the Jim Hadar rebel against the Dominion. So something that big that not only causes the Jim Hadar to rebel, but also the Federation and Dominion to join forces to take them down. Why would that not be? the catalyst for this galaxy spanning adventure that we are being teased with in the fantastic trailers to yes. star Trek discovery season five, the last season, the final dance of disco. Um, the, that is a great theory. I hope of course it is. I will see you next week. <laughs> no. So I, I think that since the treasure is something that's supposed to be all important and omnipotent, and there's supposed to be a Picard connection to TNG. I think that there was a misdirection. And my theory is da -da -da, that you remember that big squiggly hand thing that came out of Picard season one at the very end where um, Data's oh, door is coming. The, yeah. the, um, the artificial intelligence from another dimension thing. Yeah, right. I think that's what they're going on, because why else would the Rhymans get involved? Because they want to make sure that nobody touches that artificial intelligence thing because it could be the end of the universe. Perhaps, but the Romulans were after the gateway too. They were. Everybody was after the gateway. The Cardassians, the, a bunch of people. The Klingons, I think, were after it too. No, I think you're getting it confused with the chase, which was not the Iconian gateway. It was, we're all related because we oh, don't that's right. yeah, 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 because yeah. We don't want to spend that much money on CGI or you know prosthetics. That's why we all have two arms and a nose. Yeah. Just sometimes but, uh, our nostrils are up here. Yeah. Even though our nose is still down here, which makes no <laughs> sense. But you know, whatever. Whatever, whatever works. But okay, so I still think it's it's the, the squiggly hand um AI because mm -hmm. I think is that is that really something we want to revisit though? Well, I mean, it's it's something that was left unended because they just closed it up and we're like, we're good. No, but, we don't have to worry about that. That won't come back and get us sometime. It's fine. Exactly. So obviously it's going to come back and get us. And obviously the Romulans are pretty pissed about it. So I think that's the whole oh, yeah. connection. 
Well, so, we will see who's right and who's wrong. Probably both of us, but mostly you. <laughs> oh, mostly me. Mostly oh, you. Man. Yes. I'm Captain Joe Dove, man. I, yeah. I don't think I can be wrong all the time. I don't remember voting on you. Uh, it's not an election. <laughs> huh. Sounds like a dictatorship to me. Emphasizing no, that first no. syllable, but you know, whatever. <laughs> We'll see. see what we'll happens. see. What are you most excited for in the next season of Discovery? Oh my gosh. The first, um, the first episode, it's been so long since we've seen the crew of Discovery. I I I miss them. Yeah. I, I, I miss these guys. I miss all of them. I miss the most fabulous family in Star Trek. I am, of course, talking about the uh the Stamets Culbers and their two adopted mm. children who are in love with each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little weird but um, yeah, yeah there it's not weird that is that is star trek it is infinite diversity and infinite combinations and i think no, I mean, the, the children are in love with each other that's like game of yeah, thrones yeah that's kind of like space alabama right there yeah yeah that's but what i mean it's okay, i'm down with not, all the other stuff <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not really brother and sister or yeah, you know uh whatever the, uh, the non-binary compo component of that I, oh, yeah. Let me rephrase that. They're not siblings because I, I want to make <laughs> yeah. sure that I am. I want to make sure that I'm. I'm referring to them correctly as as yes. non-binary individuals. Um, mm. But yeah, it is, they do have kind of a. They do have kind of a family dynamic there, and it, that is kind of kind of odd. But you know what, a deer in gray. They don't care. They don't give a crap. I dig those two. I like. Mm. I like the dynamic. I really thought that was one of the coolest things about season three. Is when they landed on that planet and all of a sudden they were corporeal. And I was like, yeah. oh, snap. oh my, they can touch. oh my yeah. gosh, I gosh, cool? I, I love that scene when Colbert comes up to Gray and touches his face and says, "You have kind eyes." I was just like, yeah, oh, I'm gonna that start, was... I'm, I'm gonna start leaking fluid out of my eyes. <laughs> but that uh, but was, yeah, yeah, that it's, was it's, the, moment. it's the characters for me. I, I love these characters. And, you know, I know that these characters get a lot of flack because that's what happens whenever you have something new. Everybody and their mother wants to attack it and say, they did it with Enterprise. They did it with Discover. Uh, they did it with Voyager. They did it with Deep Space Nine. I remember everybody hating Deep Space Nine or what it seemed like everybody hating Deep Space Nine. That was, every, that was the Trek that was there at the birth of the Internet. You know, I yeah. know, you know but from beginning to end for like three or four seasons. Everybody was talking about. Oh, I hate Deep Space Nine. It's so boring. <laughs> they don't go anywhere. Nobody no, goes mean, anywhere. There's no shit. Captain is so boring. Oh my god, yeah. have a Ferengi. He's so stupid. Yeah, oh, you have I a guy mean, made out of Jello. Oh look, yeah. But yeah. Now it's like, oh, it's the best ever, and everybody's like, oh yeah, Voyager's so much fun, and Enterprises. Oh yes, people should give this one another look. And in many cases, it's the same people who were just tearing them apart the first time. And I'm like, I remember you. <laughs> Wait a minute, I remember you. You were saying it's going to be canceled, and it's the worst one ever. I <laughs> see that happening. I see that happening with Discovery. Yeah. I think that it's going to be reevaluated, and I think that people are going to find that it is much better then their little nitpicky black hearts led people to believe it. So one of my big questions is who, who this? Oh, that is a, he's a Cylon, obviously. <laughs> That's what he looks like. He looks like a Cylon. He's a Cylon. He's not a Vulcan and he's not a Romulan. They actually talked about what species he is. Oh, and neat. he, he is actually from the deep space nine episode Armageddon game. That's his species. Um, mm -hmm. I'm doing some research right now because I cannot remember. I'm, I'm definitely not typing on my keyboard right now. He's Kelleran. Kelleran. He, he is a Kelleran. And they were mm. featured in the Deep Space Nine episode uh, Armageddon Game. And that was Ooh. a second season. So it's a deep cut. Deep But cut. I like that uh, it's a super deep cut. But I, I like that they are giving us these deep cuts because it's, it's, it's fun. I like it. I don't yeah. know why I called it a deep cut. We can't <laughs> nah. pronounce things it's okay. Do you think he's toast? Yeah, I, because isn't I don't maybe know. not the first. Episode. I don't know. Uh, he could be a uh, he could be a Captain Shaw where he's gruff and mean, and we get to love him, and then they kill him off at the last minute. Oh, no, that would be the Shaw. That would be yeah, awful. Don't we don't, don't, don't Shaw again. No, but I think I, he's going to be friendly, and then like, when he dies, I, like, I, think, yeah. I think he's going to be. Uh, I think he's going to be an ally. I don't know. I, it's hard to tell because you don't really see a whole lot of him in the trailer. He's like shouting at one point, but he could be shouting because 
you know, something bad's happening to the Discovery crew. And he's like, no! Or he could, you know, something yeah. bad happening to the Discovery crew. He could be going, yes! We don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it yeah, is if, edited pretty well. If you, hear, uh, if you hear All Around the Watchtower start playing, all bets are off. He's a Cylon. He's a Cylon, Ron. Cylon. He's a Cylon. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing is, like, what's our man Book's going to be doing this season? Uh, well, I guess he's out of prison. Well, yeah. that's uh, Well, he wasn't in prison. He was like, he was going off to do like community service hours. Or something. Yeah, how, something like that. How yeah. many community service hours do you have to do for stealing the only other working prototype for the spore drive and like yeah. like trying to start a war with extra galactic aliens and that or trying to just say what's up and then they blew up planets? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, how y'all doing? Ah! It's like, well, we'll let you off with a warning this time, book, but don't let it happen again. Yeah, I think that's what ends up happening. Yeah, probably. Has nothing to do with the fact that one of the most celebrated Star Starfleet captains is like his his uh his boo. His boo. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna I was gonna say fiance, but I don't know if they're I don't know if it's a fiance thing yet. Not yet. Maybe this season. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see that happen this season. That'd be nice. Somebody's gotta make Burnham an honest woman. Yeah. Or she's gotta make Book an honest man. I don't know. Maybe they could just make so. somebody's gotta make uh, the queen. Somebody's gotta make Grudge an honest cat. That's, that's right. Never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> She's a queen and we love her. Yep. Yep. We love right. every bit of that gigantic cat. Yeah. That's another thing I love about Discovery. I love Grudge. Yeah, Grudge is amazing. I want a whole episode with nothing but Grudge. Like all the humans on Discovery disappear and all you have is Grudge and you get this internal monologue by somebody who does a really good Eartha Kit impression. Like, oh, all the humans are gone. Well, this could this is a good thing, but then again, I have no opposable thumbs, so this is probably a bad thing. <laughs> Very well, I will help them even though they don't really they don't really deserve it. Mm. Let's see, I've seen I've seen the <laughs> I've seen the dreadlocked woman do this. Boop boop. Oh, I seen <laughs> fired phasers. <laughs> it just destroys the planet. I just destroyed Federation headquarters. <laughs> Fun. I want to do it again. Boop boop. <laughs> and it turns out it's just like grudge in the holodeck. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. And that's yeah, why we need to keep grudge in her crate. We don't get the queen in her crate. <laughs> I think there's going to be so much to watch, so much to enjoy, and so many exciting things this season. I think it's going to be the going out on a high note. I think this is going to be the... <laughs> yeah, maybe not that high, but I think this is going to be... So this is going to be the one that people talk about for generations. And you got to make sure to join us every Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a little bit earlier in the day for Jace there, but the other Jason will be joining us. We'll be getting all Aussied out. It'll be the three of us this Friday, and there's going to be guests coming during later on in the episodes. There's so much to see. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. And be sure to share with five of your friends. And if you're listening to this, that's not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> if you're listening to this on Spotify, do us a favor. Give us a rate. It really helps us grow and it really helps Spotify put us out in the ether so that other blast, folks can join us out of your car speakers so that more people can hear. This yeah. Voice. Everybody should hear our voices as they drive. Absolutely. And so, they ask, what are you listening to? Roll down your window and say, it's none of your business. No, you say the captain squadron, man. <laughs> All right. Lock I'll see after you. The captain's quadrant. Yay. Yay. I'll see you Friday. If you're lucky. Yes. Yeah. Well, you'll be there. And Jason will be there. Willie. He'll be he'll be there. Willie. Willie.